Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double, and I'm going to try to do this quickly. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll feel inspired to hit that little button at the bottom. I have in front of me my pedal board that I've been working on this week. It's a lot of fun. And we all know that the Tone X just updated their software, and it gives us all sorts of effects and such in the Tone X1 as well as the big boy. Pardon my old man gloves, I have really bad arthritis going on and tendonitis and carpal tunnel. But I wanted to make you guys aware that the MIDI Chief app that I've made a couple videos about, I'll, I'll link them right here and I'll post them at the end of the video and probably in the description to get you up to date. The MIDI Chief app is a really cool app that allows us to control the Tone X1 with items like MVave chocolate switchers. I have a chocolate and then I also have a chocolate plus. You can do this with other switchers, of course, but what I'm currently using, what a lot of people are using because it's cheap, is a cheap Android phone and a couple of these guys, or even just one, to navigate the Tone X1 pedal a little bit easier. Watch my other videos for setup one thing you have to do if you want to take advantage of this new little feature, if you've seen MIDI Chief before, you might notice, hey, there's a little pink button right here. And you see it's got tap tempo, so I can't really tap it here. You can see now I just tapped in a new tempo. I have this particular chocolate. This is just the chocolate, not the chocolate plus. I have this one in the default control mode. In fact, I think I should be able to pull up the Cube Suite app, show you how I have the regular one set up right now, at least to get you going. If you want to switch through three different patches and also tap tempo, you want to set up your chocolate, whichever one it is you're going to use, to be program change A. And I just wish this thing would focus a little bit better. I'm sorry, it's because I'm trying to zoom in and doing this as unprofessionally as possible. All right, back over in the MIDI Chief app, you will have to update the app. Now you can do that in the Google store. If you do not have the app, you can just look up MIDI Chief, M-I-D-I, new word, C-H-I-E-F, MIDI Chief. It's available only for Android in the Google store. He updated it today. I did some troubleshooting with him just to make sure that it was available. I couldn't get it to download on my phone at first. I had to go into the apps, then I had to go to the Google Play app, and then I had to clear the cache of that app. And then it allowed me to reinstall the MIDI Chief app because I had uninstalled it thinking I needed to, but I didn't really need to. Uh, you know what? The gloves say it enough, I'm old. So now what I can do is I can tap in a new tempo, you have to hit it five times. We want to make sure that that little tap tempo slider is set up in the on position. You just touch it and it'll come up and it'll show you the current tempo. Now I figured out a couple little quirks. I think it's because the patch that I saved into the one, I didn't save it as synced. So every time I go back to this patch, it defaults to the tempo that I had saved that patch in. Uh, I didn't bother editing the patch. I just really wanted to show you guys how easy and quick this is to get set up. So now I can, you can see I have it at 116 at the moment. So after you update the app itself, you will then see the tap tempo option. You hit that little fader to activate it and you'll see that little pink box that is displaying the current tempo information. In that default mode, program change A mode, you'll have three different patches that you can select from and then currently the letter d button is going to default to be tap tempo so i'm going to go ahead and go to a patch that i know i have delay on and so between these two patches i have one that's clean and then one that's got delay and so if i tap this tempo in i have to hit that button five times and it'll count a new tempo looks like six times actually he says five so that's one thing i've noticed is that see right there it's kind of kept it's kept in that range so you have to wait a second if you don't get all five otherwise it takes that last tap so now i'm hitting it real slow i've hit it five times real slow and so if you're going quickly it's going to happen right after the fifth one if you're going a little bit slower it seems like it it's kind of waiting i don't know there's just see now it's doing five of course i say that either way 
you have to hit it five times, bare minimum, before that tempo is applied to the app there in that box. Tuner mode, it's also going to now blink the tap tempo, and you can see the, the pedal itself will show you in a blinky blink mode what it's doing. But what I've noticed is when you go over here, if you are trying to see the display here, it will actually mute the guitar after you've hit the fifth one. So you're gonna wanna be actually on your patch in order to be able to listen. Because if you're in tuner mode, once you tap it five times, it seems to be turning that off. So now I'm back over in my patches. Now I have this other, I have this Chocolate Plus set up to go. When I hit one button, it's going back and forth between two very similar patches. Just one has delay, one doesn't, in order to demonstrate this real quick. So currently on my Chocolate Plus, I have the C button in this bank set to go between two different sounds. Very similar tonally, except that when I'm in purple, I'm hearing delay. So now you can see, because of the way I have this one set up, I have all the buttons dedicated to that. I did that in the second video on this tutorial, so if you want to know how to do that, make sure you check that one out. So on this particular one, that's currently the only one that I have delay on. So when I tap in the tempo on this other one, see there I needed to do it six times and I don't know why. And then I can go back over to my clean one. And then when I come back to this one though, see now it's back to the stored tempo. And I'm pretty sure that that's because I didn't save this particular one as sync. Give it a shot. Let me know in the comments below if that's working for you, if the whole tap tempo thing is working for you and how the sync is reacting Try saving yourself a patch with sync on, sync off, and see if it's reacting that way. I really just wanted to, I know you guys don't like it when I don't do a lot of research, but hey, have some fun. Do this on your own. Try it, because now you can do so much more with the Tone X1 pedal, and this is tap tempo, so I'm guessing modulations. Are modulations gonna work? Let me know. I don't know, I haven't tried. I'm just so excited about that that I wanted to display it immediately. And I wanted to make sure that I thank the developer as well, because he really has put his heart and soul into making this work. And I may have even messed him up today, telling him that I couldn't get it working at first because I hadn't cleared the cache and he re-uploaded it. But there's a nice new fresh upload on the Google Play Store that will have the MIDI Chief app ready to go for you. If you already have it installed, it will actually see your setup. The previous setup is all still there. All right, have a good time playing with yourself. <laughs> 